thanks for joining me. Welcome to day one of my 2011 12 Days of Christmas Ornaments series. Today we are going to make a super simple but very, very impactful Christmas ornament. This is the Glitter Christmas Ball. Before I get started, I want to go through the supplies that I'm going to use to make this project. I'm starting with these uh, plain glass, clear glass balls that I got at just at my local AC Moore. They're going to come, you can see in this, this uh, plastic tray that they come inside of. Just like this. And you want to save the tray. To adhere the glitter inside of the ornament, we will be using this product from Beacon Adhesives which is um, really a favorite brand of mine. I love all of their products that I've tried. They all work really well and they do exactly what they say they're going to do. Um, and this product is called Glitter It and it is a really um, loose, juicy, liquidy, um, I don't know if you can see it move around in there. It's really, it's almost like a water consistency but it is an adhesive. And this is what it is for, is sticking glitter to the inside of ornaments. Um, this bottle was right next to these ornaments in the same aisle, and I believe it was $3.99, and you barely, barely use any at all, so, um, you know, for $4, you're going to be making a ton of ornaments with just this one little bottle. And last but not least, we will, of course, be using glitter. I am using Martha Stewart Crafts glitter in the color Carrera Marble, and this glitter is, is with white glitter, it's a little bit more opaque than other glitters, a little bit more matte. It does have some silver shininess in it, um, but it's a little bit more primarily white. And I like the look of it in this project because it looks like snow. It just looks like the ornament has kind of been frosted with the dusting of snow. Um, this is a fine glitter, and it is, this particular one is a really good um, consistency of glitter for this project. So the first thing that you want to do when you take your ornaments out of the package is you're going to just pop the tops off of them, just like that. And then you want to take a little bit of uh, plain white vinegar and warm water and put it inside of each ornament, kind of swirl it around and make sure that it gets all cleaned on the inside. Um, as you're working with them, they are going to get fingerprints on the outside. But you want to make sure that the inside is really nice and clear, clean, excuse me, um, before uh, you do this project so that you'll you'll know that the glue is going to adhere and then you want to leave them upside down to dry at least overnight. So once you have your ornament clean and dry you're going to take some of your adhesive and you want to have a paper towel you want to have a paper towel handy and you're just going to take the top, don't even worry about this squirter part, just take the top right off of your bottle And you're just going to dump a good, I would say, a couple uh, tablespoons in there. Now, you're going to dump out any of the extra, so don't worry at all about putting too much in your ornament. And I got a little bit down the side, on the outside, so I'm just going to wipe that off. Um, I, I'm sorry for the focus issues here. My camera does not auto-focus as I'm filming, so... Um, I apologize if things get a little bit, bit blurry. Now I'm just going to swirl that glue around to coat the bottom. And then you just want to turn it sideways. You don't want to swirl too hard or you're going to get bubbles, which I have in here. Um, so I'm going to try to get rid of those. Um, just coat the sides. And then you bring your container back in. and kind of pour and swirl at the same time over the top of your container so that you can get all the way up to the very top of your ornament. And just watch while you're doing this to make sure that you can see the adhesive covering all the surfaces. And then once you have that done, you just want to give it a good tap to get any extra out. And now this is when you want to work quickly because this does dry quickly. I am using a little plastic funnel and I'm going to open up my glitter and just dump a ton of it in there. Again, you're going to be dumping the extra in back in the bottle, so don't even worry about it. Um, do the 
do the same thing, kind of swirl the bottom, and then go around, get the sides, make sure everything gets nice and coated evenly. You can kind of tap it around, um, and then do, again, twist it kind of over the top of your glitter so you make sure that you're getting the whole top of the ornament. Okay, so you see I've got it coated pretty well. And now with this white glitter, you can see that it's not completely covered. If you have a shinier, sparklier glitter, um, you're not going to be able to see the little holes quite so well. But if you've got big spots, you can go back in um, and kind of, you know, you want to kind of keep it moving, make sure it goes over all those spots as many times as possible to make sure that it sticks to wherever there is glue. And then put it back in its little holder and set it aside to dry for 24 hours. Once you've let your ornament dry for 24 hours, um, this is when you want to try to make sure that you get all the extra glitter that's not stuck uh, out of your ornament. So take your paper towel again and you're going to turn your ornament upside down and just give it a few good taps. All you have to do is stick the top back on. So as you can see here, I've taken my cherry polka dot organza ribbon from the Muse Studio and three little half inch jingle bells that I also got from my craft store and I just tied those on to the center of a big bow at the top, just wrapped right around the top of my ornament. And then I'll just put my little ornament, my wire ornament hanger on top and I have my sparkly snow frosted ornament with the little jingle bells at the top. So if you have any questions, let me know and I hope you give this fun project a try. Please join me tomorrow for day two of my 12 Days of Christmas ornament series. Thank you. Bye-bye.